Okay, so I figured out what happens. The sun explodes. Um, it just kind of shrank for a bit. And then, uh, well. Then, uh, then that happens. <laughs> it's, uh, very, very interesting. Um, it, ha it started going between episodes. It was like, oh. <laughs> I guess I should probably start recording. It had only been, like, five seconds since stopping the actual episode. I'm gonna have to go back to that planet. I did a lot. <laughs> oh my. Uh, get to see whatever it is explode again. That'll be fun. Here we go. So it shoots something and explodes. That doesn't seem good. Oh, there we go. Alright, let's, uh... And it's always a different direction. I wonder if that thing's time-traveling somehow. And breaking a little bit. Alright, let's check the ship log. Alright, view... Oh, Tower of Quantum Knowledge. Jesus. The Hanging City. Quantum Shard. Quantum signal, quantum signal, quantum signal. White Hole Station, Northern Glacier, High Lab Energy. All right, there's a lot. All right, Let's zoom in. Uh, view entry. Okay, Ryback has set up camp at the bottom of the crossroads. Their excitement at being surrounded by so much Nomai history is matched only by their terror of the black hole. Southern Observatory, the Nomai decided to build a larger, more sophisticated eye signal locator in Brittle Hollow's southern pole. Ryback says, you can't get th to the observatory from the surface. They tried, but there pro there's probably a path beneath the crust somewhere. Alright, what is that? Uh, there's a huge Nomai city uh, just to the north of Ryback's camp. Alright, Northern Glacier. The North Pole of Brittle Hollow is covered in snow and ice. There's a uniquely shaped Nomai ruin on the surface. The Nomai were able to warp here from the White Hole Station. Uh, this is where they first retreated or recreated warp technology. There's more to explore here. I'm probably going back there. Uh, to use the Nomai Warp Tower. Oh, Jesus, this one's long. Uh, stay in the middle. Know how to, I know how to do it. Okay. I, could, uh, I might notice something strange. Warp objects appear to arrive at the receiver. Yeah, whatever. The negative time interval measure, me, measured at the White Hole Station was further investigated at the High Energy Lab in the canyon at Ember Twins Equator. Oh boy. Strange rock shard that wanders uh, when no one is watching. The Nomai determined this shard is the reason objects in the grove have behave in a quantum manner. The Nomai hypothesized that this shard is actually a piece of the quantum moon. Emits a signal as the quantum moon. Tower of Quantum Knowledge, this tower, located at the Brittle Hollow's equator, uh, held useful knowledge for Nomai embarking on their first pilgrimage to the Quantum Moon. Uh, quantum signal coming from Giant's Deep, uh, Timber Hollow, and the Hourglass Twins. Alright. Alright, here we go. Buckle up! Lift off camera. Let's go back to, uh, over there and engage autopilot oh boy oh god oopsie oopsie exit ship to repair oh boy I didn't think that was gonna happen I just engaged the autopilot and look what happened I'm gonna do it on the moon all right. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Landing mode. Uh oh. Let's let's hope. Oh oh oh. I can I can do it. I, oh. All right. Whoopsie. My fault. My fault. 
Oh boy. Oopsie. Okay, okay. Oh, what is that? That's the autopilot. The autopilot broke completely. <laughs> Landing camera. Yeah, definitely need that to be fixed. I think that's everything. Let's go back in. Alright. Let's just leave. Boy, that was dramatic. <laughs> Didn't think that could happen, actually. Oh, yeah, I wanted to go there. Let's do that real quick. Landing mode. Alright. Alrighty. That was easy enough. Uh, I'll just leave it on because I need it a lot. Oh my. Oh, what is this? It's slightly different than most things. Uh, maybe whatever's over here will tell us and then we'll go back to uh, Brutal Hollow. Oh my. Let's see, there's nothing signal-wise here, is there? That's just the... normal stuff. Alrighty. Okay. That was easy enough. Can I even land on there without falling? Yeah, probably. Aha! There's an entrance in this cave. Huh. Oh! Water is just shooting upwards. Interesting, interesting. I don't know why I'm here, but... Sure, we'll hopefully find out. Oh my. This is definitely interesting. Oh, there's a body. Oh dear. That <laughs> just startled me a bit. Alright, here we go. No! No! Dead. I'm dead. Or not. Or not. Huh. I wonder, can I, can I get in here? Oh boy. Here we are. Aha! <laughs> Up we go. Wee. Does that bother you guys? <laughs> I bet it does. So I'll stop. <laughs> I apologize immensely. Um, my goodness, there's a lot here. <clears throat> Is there anything further over there? Doesn't look like it. Okay. Translate. I'm still amazed by how much ore the Ash Twins project, project requires. Uh, this isn't... Uh, eh. Crap. Uh, isn't this the ore for the remaining towers being built on Ash Twins? The completed towers I've seen are surprisingly big. No, the material for those towers is all being taken from Ash Twin. Uh, the ore we're currently mining will be used to create a protective shell that will seal off the Ash Twin's core. Uh, all of this ore is for the shell. I hope they measured the shield's area and planned according... Uh, accordingly. Yeah, that's a bad joke. I thought you, uh, I thought you had forbidden your apprentice from making puns, Coleus. Uh, how else would you improve? Uh, alright. What do you mean scroll text? Um, okay. I'm relieved by our clan's decision to use, uh, timber hearse ore for constructing the shell only. 
uh, if eventually life on this planet were to evolve to the point of advanced uh, metallurgy, I'm confident we won't have destroyed their ability to create. Huh. Alright. Nice table. Now how does one exit the Cave of Wonders? <laughs> Alright. Ash Twins Projection Stone. Oh dear. It's gonna do another vision, isn't it? Here we go. Oh, there's a thing. Oh. What's going on? Interesting. Interesting. Huh. I wish I could just take this piece and use it as a flashlight. Oh. Give me that. Put it here and learn some things. Alright. Uh, my gratitude for the latest shipment. Uh, oh, I know. Uh, this ore should be the last we'll need for the Ash Twin Project. This is exciting news. I can offer an extra set of eyes for the final check, specifically mine. Uh, if my work here is complete, I'd be delighted to help. With a prospective shell built, Raimi uh, says she's ready to seal all entrances used during its construction. Uh, after she'll uh, help inspect the barrier from the outside, our final safety check. Uh, we'd be grateful if you would. The more eyes, the better, as the smallest opening in the shell that protects the core could lead to disaster. Interesting. It's very, very interesting. All right. I think I can get over there. All righty, all righty, all righty. Eh, eh. Okay, I made it. Oh boy. This was a, a neat little side tracking thing. Alright, here we go. I'm not gonna close the door. Alrighty. I needed to sneeze. I tried saying that before, but it didn't work. Ugh. That was uh, certainly interesting. And I'm glad I did it. Alright, through the water once more. Oh dear. Okay. Yeah. Da -da -da -da. I wish I could just jog a little more. <laughs> like, I can't really run. The fastest I can move is when I do this. Sure, I'm gonna have to come back here later. I just bumped something. All right, we'll put this away while we uh, look at the log and everything. All right, know my minds. Ash Twins Project. All right. Oh, did I not read that? I don't know. I think that's what it wants me to do. Um, okay. View. Ah. Uh, just tells us what we learned in there. Used to be entrances in the protective shell surrounding the Ash Twins project, but they were completely sealed up at the end of construction. Uh, the Nomai sealed something away inside the core of the Ash Twins. Yes. I think we learned that. Alright, let's go back to Brittle Hollow. Let's see if we can't... That's going to be our goal. Um, see if we can't get... Uh, To the, uh, to the core. Alright. Engage autopilot. Just cause it is faster to do it that way than trust myself to do it at all. Do not fly into the sun. Well. Nope, nope, nope. Uh, 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 nope, I'm dead. Well, <laughs> Jesus Christ. 
Uh, thank you for flying me into the sun. I tried preventing it, didn't work. <laughs> oh well. At least we didn't really lose progress here. I mean, I was on this planet to begin with. <laughs> Hopefully we'll be closer to the to where I need to go. Uh, I still need to read. Um, um, that one thing on Brittle Hollow. I never got the chance. All right, up we go. Lift off camera. Lifting off! Alright. Here we go. Oh, headlights off. No, I want those on. Alright, here we go. Brittle Hollow. Do not fly me into our planet. Damn it! Damn it! Stop, stop, stop. Alright, engage autopilot. <laughs> Christ. It's really trying to kill me here. Oh, I also learned that the little... The lantern... Uh, is actually the thing shooting... These rocks into space. What the hell is that? Well, this looks interesting and I want to check it out. So I will. Uh, landing mode. I'll land just outside of it. You know, I'll land by the tree. Alright. Here we go. Put on suit. Go outside. Because this looks interesting. Oh dear. Hopefully this doesn't fall away. What the hell is that? Let's see. Alright. Uh, is everyone unharmed? No one was badly injured from the escape pod's impact? We're incredibly fortunate. Uh, this is good news. At least uh, we've heard from escape pod 2 or... Th or have we heard from Escape Pod 2 or 3? Um, no, I am un unable to make content. Content. My content. Make content. Ah, contact! <laughs> ah, jeez, I can't read, can I? Uh, my equipment can hear the other two Escape Pod's distress signals, however. If it's any comfort, both pods must be uh, structurally intact. I'll continue calling for them. My gratitude, if we can. Thatch, the moon is approaching again. Everyone brace yourselves swiftly. The volcanic moon has returned. Be cautious of falling ash and debris. I believe the moon has passed. This planet doesn't appear eager to have guests. We are certainly unwelcome on its surface. We need to find shelter, and quickly. The volcanic moon won't be gone for long. I observed several promising sites below the surface, but we still need to construct a way for everyone to climb safely down this cliff. Perhaps we could build pl uh, platforms? All right, that's it. It's everything. Uh. Zoom in! Alright, I'm gonna go in there. Ah! Here we go. Oh! It scared me. Really did. Alright, there's something here. Aha! Alright, translate no my writing. Escape pod 3, launching escape pod 2, now launching escape pod 1. Escape pod 1 vessel has uh, been mortally injured. Uh, frequency, or emergency sequence activated, waiting departure. Uh,. Collision imminent, preparing for impact. Scanning external environment, scan complete. Minor structural instabilities detected. Pockets of breathable air detected. Adequate solar energy detected. Verdict hospitable. 
Huh. I feel like they came from a different place than a, than what we know, escape pod emergency hatch. Jesus Christ, this scared me. <laughs> Not really, but just something happened. Well, that's not what I wanted. Oh! Oh dear. Okay. If I walk on this, will it be fine? Okay. <laughs> Use caution. The black hole seeps below. You must not slip. Yeah, no kidding. Oh dear. Oh dear. Just gonna follow this and hope for the best. So this is where they made their civilization. Oh dear god! Well, I wanted to go there! Man. Alright. Be uh, of note, be sure not to wander far from here, though this area is somewhat unstable. It's safer than any we've found so far. Uh, the temporary settlement is finished, but remember to be cautious of falling rocks and dust created by meteor impacts. It's good to, uh, good to be cautious. Well, there's something. Okay. Hopefully no more will hit over here. Oh, maybe I can translate that. Uh, da -da -da -da. What have we here? That's gonna fall when I step on it, isn't it? Uh, this knowledge is too dear to lose. Here is everything we can recall about the signal we encountered while aboard the vessel. Um, the signal looked like it, like an eye, round with a circle at the center, much like a pupil. Suppose the signal was looking for something, and that is all I will read. I just realized the time on the video, so this is where I'm going to end the episode. Uh, so I will see you all in the next episode.